<sighs> Here we go. Unfortunately, being called pretty boy does make your brain burst into flames, especially if it is followed or preceded by a little geese. <sighs> oh no. Theory that neurotypicals are the ones with communication issues, actually. You're the one who can't communicate with me, buckaroo. Neurotypicals will play four-dimensional chess about asking you to wash the dishes, and I don't believe this is my problem. Dude, literally, when I lived with my aunt for a bit, she said, Huh, it's supposed to be sunny all day. And supposedly, that was her asking me to put the laundry out on the clothesline? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What? Anxieties, attack. Wait, no. No, not me, you fools. No, 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 not like this. No. Oh, damn it, I've been diagnosed. Hey, I just found Pucky Cho in my old toy box. Excuse me? Pull me back. I'm not legally male. I'm illegally male. I pirated my gender online. <gasps> You wouldn't download a gender. Am I? Writing prompt. I challenge you to a duel, sir. Pick your weapon and make your peace, for I have trained under the greatest weapon masters in... Fisticuffs. Wait, what? Fisticuffs! There's Todd Howard, the man. And then there's Todd Howard, the amalgamation of everyone who worked on every Elder Scrolls and 3D Fallout games. And now Starfield, I guess. He's gonna need 16 times the map size. There are two forms of the spoken words that will always transcend language boundaries. Singing and swearing, such as the duality of man. And then may I present to you the most beautiful song in the world. And if you could assist me. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Bugs are so funny. They got lines for legs. Some of my favorite bugs. Nature's so beautiful. Let's say there's a wizard infestation on my blog. And we're not leaving. We like it here. It's very nice and damp. Perfect wizarding conditions. Might cast a magic missile or two. <laughs> I dropped my phone in the shower and the water opened up Instagram and changed my fucking pronouns. Hmm. Isekai title. Humans don't do anything for free. Somewhere out there, there's a guy who spent days, if not weeks of his life, cataloging every stupid thing you can do on Stardew Valley so that you can min-max the fuck out of growing potatoes on a pixel grid for quite literally no reason but that it might help someone else. Yes, they will do things for free. Crouches to go into stealth. The cracking of my knees alerts the gods. I am immediately killed. Blending all my pills into a creamy pasta sauce and calling it Medicini Alfredo. <laughs> I think this is how Peppino ended up in Pizza Tower. The upside of ADHD is that it makes you a fucking genius. The downside is that you don't get to decide when and for how long you're a genius. Or what you're going to be a genius about. You have a big work project? Mm, no, 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 no. You're now a genius at making board games for seven hours. It's great. So do I just, like, follow anyone? Like, real people? Like, the actual people and not the subject matter? That isn't like following someone to their doorstep. Why, why does this seem so personal? Think of it as you're stray cats and every evening I put out my garbage and you come and eat it. This garbage is not mine. I feel cheated. No one on Reddit told me that Tumblr is a serotonin factory. Keep liking and reblogging my posts, please. Thanks. Just don't fly too close to the sun. Throw me into the sun and I'll get it pregnant. Fellas, gender neutral, you heard him. Ready to catapults. Horrified last night as I mentioned furries in front of my mother and had to watch her explain the concept to my stepfather using that CSI episode as an example. You know, it could be worse. I know that did some massive damage, but it could be worse. Could be the thousand ways to die episode about furries. You're gay. He's mine now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, come back.